Hi guys. This is Shran. How's everybody? Say hello to me so I know who up here with me. I'm gonna do this one here with glitter. Okay, babe. Okay. I'm brave with glitter. I put pink background on those. Okay. Good morning, good morning. It's been a while. How are everybody doing? I've been open since the first of this month. But I will do an appointment. So yesterday, today were my walking day, so I got more time. So I do a little video with you guys. Where all my love, show me some love. Yes, I've been very busy, but uh, I cut down a lot. What I used to do, because I can't have a full house like I used to. I only allow four customers in my in my shop, no more than four, at each you know at a time. You know, um, every time I get busy like that. Hello, hello, Takia. Did all of you guys open your uh, business yet? My state they allow open in May, you know, it, back in May 15, but I'm not open my shop until June 1st. I remodel my whole shop. Like I said, I don't, I only allow no more than four customers at a time. We uh, we go extra mile. We work a little harder after we get back from this stupid virus. I used to have seven stations. Now I'm cutting down to four, and we only have two stations working. Trying to keep so so distant here. I cut back. I cut more than half what I used to do. Just to, just to make sure to be safe here for, you know, for me, for my coworker and my client. I normally tell you guys how we apply these, but this is the first time I'm back since uh, the lockdown. So I'm just talking to you guys instead of show you guys how to apply these. My next video, I will. But if anybody have questions, go ahead and ask me. Hey, she. I love you too, honey. God, I miss you guys. I can't. I can't wait to get back. I hope all of you guys are doing well. You know, I lost seven customers here in this little town over the, the uh, Wuhan virus. I don't call it COVID. I call it Wuhan because it comes from China. <laughs> Timma, yes, I do an ombre, hun. And you said my nail right. Love watching your video. Miss you, girl. Aw, thank you. Never meet you in person but i do follow your work um i am a learning nail tech in school now graduate in july good let me tell you this um 
the acrylic this is um i have a company to make my own acrylic and i mix my own color the only thing that i will buy from other vendor is glitter because the people i do i deal with they don't they don't do glitter they only do color uh so i have to buy glitter from different people um for a beginner or people you know whoever in school practice 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 a lot of practice i'm glad you're back <laughs> yes thank you hon all right i'm doing this nude pink it's really pretty i love that color <laughs> Then I got back, um, every day, I do a lot of ombre, ombre, ombre every day, plenty ombre, because uh, ombre lasts longer, so a lot of customers, they got ombre. See how pretty? It's nude. All right, I'm going to get back to uh, when you guys do ombre. I'm pretty sure a lot of people out here still put the clear over their ombre to cap it, but I don't. So I'm going to show you guys how I do mine. This finger is getting glitter toward the tip. So I just kind of fill in the nail bed a little bit with the pink, and we go over with the... with the um the glitter the only thing i will cap my nail is if i use glitter i don't cap my nail with clear over it never do let's make a good blend huh My shop is changed totally different now. The way we work, the way we operate, it's a totally different process since this virus came. Everything I do now have to be extra, longer, special on the disinfectants sanitizing you know i got since i opened back and i did a few live stream a lot of customers i got so many new customers from everywhere that came to me all right i'm gonna read some more in a little minute young nail i use top coat with young nails sometimes uh and mix my glitter stuff yeah i am a beginner i'm practicing and how can i make safe at my home uh -huh. like oh wow okay over here um to what i do here for this virus how to protect yourself and your client i can say this clean 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 one thing i do i you to i'm talking about first thing is the buffer file or the sending band okay um First thing is social distance. Of course, got to be more than six feet away. Second thing is don't let have a lot of people coming to your business. Like I said, I normally have 14, 10, 12, 7, 8, 9 sitting in my shop. Now, I only allow no more than, I can have up to seven in here, but I only allow four. Maybe five if the person get ready to walk out and I have to uh, call the other person walk in to do the paperwork. And the second thing is, I, you see, even though I don't use the brush, brush customer hand no more, I use this little blower. So it clean and I have these right here sucking all the dust down. But um, I spray and clean like the hospital grade 
sanit uh, uh, disinfectant stuff. I spray my station. I spray my chair. I spray everything that I know the customer touch or be around. I clean and spray after every customer when they got up. I have customer walk in, they have to do the paperwork and we have to do their temp. I have to make sure they go wash their hand first before they touch my pen or clipboard. And I also, the end of the day, of course, when we clean in, the general cleaning, we, you know, we're doing extra work. We even had the machine spray, although airborne bacteria, that's how I keep in here. And also I took a shower before I go home. I, Cause we install a shower here. I make sure I wash myself up good, chain clothes, back them up good before I leave. Right before I leave the shop, I turn on my machine to spray the whole shop. Disinfecting the whole shop before I leave. That's how I do. So I know I'm safe when I get home because I have my old mom. I can't bring that home. You know what I mean? Mm. Yep. So that's how I do. Because I got kid too. Special. I worry about my mom more than anybody. Because she had rheumatoid arthritis. So she, her immune system is very low. So we have to be careful. And uh, she look. I'm gonna let y'all see. No, I'm gonna let y'all see a little bit because I can't turn that the um, the camera. I all. I'm, I'm telling you, I make um, every customer now. I have five to ten minutes extra after I finish to prepare for the next client walk in. I spray down the whole station and the chair. I got liner for the pedicure chair. I got liner for the shampoo chair. Just like a doctor office now. That's why a lot of my customers love it because they know they can be safe here in this shop. A lot of people take it lightly, but we not. I wipe out, I spray my door and off. I spray everything often. I mean, the station, that's out there of customer, but door and off and chairs and I don't even have waiting chair no more. Um, um, no waiting chair, no quick dry table, none of that. When I finish, I'm going to show you guys what I did. Um, how I had my, my station set up. I do less what I used to do. But like I said, money good, but not all money are good. You can have a whole bunch of people, but you're going to get sick. Chance to get the virus easier. Right? right. So minimize people going in here. But it looks like I like the appointment work better mm -hmm. for me. Because I know they're here. Then I did that um, live stream on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I got so many people, new customer. I got some from New Orleans, okay. from Homa, from Mississippi, Denham, everywhere. Plenty from Baton Rouge, because mm -hmm. it's not that far. Right. Uh, all my customer, even before the virus, and I always ask my customer when the first first thing they walk in is I ask them to go wash their hand. Got a couple people get mad, but Lord, I can't help it. And another thing too, all my customer have to have masks to walk in the shop. I don't let anybody walk in here with no mask. Good morning. What you need, babe? What you need? Repolish. Okay. Uh, go wash your hand over there. And sign your paper. Could you sign a long one already? Just sign a short one. Huh? Yeah, but you come back, you still have to sign the paper, the short one. 
You don't have to sign a long one no more, but a short one, yeah. Sơn lại cho nó nha ba. No, nó có nước sơn thôi. Hả? À hả? Không phải. Con bữa trước nó làm ambre. Con này nó sơn không thôi. Nó no, không phải cái con phía sau đâu. À ha. Đúng rồi, bữa nó bắt anh nó bắt anh, anh, anh sơn rồi nó bắt em sơn lại á. Lấy uh, lấy temperature của nó anh. Con màu không? Con màu tay không? Đây, con được mấy nhóm. Đừng cho nó lấy cái hiệu kia nữa. Điều gì? Cái hiệu này. Màu nó màu gì? Nhưng mà màu tay là màu gì? 100k, 100k Đừng cho lấy cái hiệu uh, mobility, hiệu nó dỗn lắm. Cho nó thấy một cái hiệu kia đi. Không sao? Nó nói lấy cái hiệu hiệu Don't get this brand. That's what you got, the brand, this brand? What brand? Mobility. Uh, I don't, really it the don't get that brand, get the other brand. Cái, cái hiệu đó nó rất là dỗm, nó không ở lâu đâu. Get the D&D. D&D mà anh. Nó kêu nó cầm D&D mà. Dạ, đưa cái này cho nó, nó đòi cái này. Uh -huh. đừng, đừng cho nó lấy cái kia, cái kia dỗm đó. Um, the drill that you, that's the one that I use, the pedal one. The brand is, what it called, milking. The one that you hang on the table.
I'm skipping the glitter to file because it's still wet. That's why I didn't file the, the glitter yet. Let me let it dry a little bit and then I come back. The one I use, it's called three in one. Um, I rarely use these on the gel polish because it's make it so smooth and make your polish come off quick because it's so smooth. Because when you grind, it make the nail bed very smooth. So I only use on powder. But I still use a little buffer to buff it up a little rough because I use a rough side to buff it up to make it rough so the polish can stay. Because when it's too smooth, it makes the polish come off fast. I like this right here because they don't cut easy. Because you see how it's like a cone shape and the edge is already smoothed down. So customer don't get cut that easy. No, cái này quảng cáo á. So you guys see I don't put clear over my ombre. I can grind and grind, but the ombre is still there. So you get just you follow my technique, you skip a step. And your nail don't be so thick if you put that uh that clear over it to cap it, it'd be really thick. Only thing I put clear over if I do the ombre glitter, because it put clear over to protect the glitter. That's it. Now I shape it up and clear and done. Bác lấy cái chai base coat của hiệu Jellish sơn cho nó. Cái base coat kia không có quốc rồi đó. Anh mở cái tủ ở dưới đó, phía bên trái á Mấy cái hộp ở trong, em, em stack up ở trọng á Là nó hiệu gel liệt bác em không? Bro Ok Hiệu gel liệt á, cái đó nó, nó ở lâu hơn It's called 3-in-1 by Pro Tool. Come in! Good morning, what you need? Man? Okay, wash your hand first and do your paper.
Nãy anh lấy độ của con nhỏ đó chưa? Dơ yeah, là ở trong mấy cái hộp đó có Nguyên một cái basket đó có Em có bảo không đó anh biết mà Những cây mới nằm trong đó hết That's it See, I use the rough side of the buffer to buffer make it rough a little bit because that did make your nail bed very smooth. And when it's too smooth, the polish peel. They come off really easy. So I use the rough side to buff the buffer, you know, the nail a little bit to make it rough. Can you use the fine part. Cứ làm tạm thời cái đó đi Cái xài cái New Revolution đi Em phải dục, em phải lục một mớ kia ra Cái tay đứa nào mà nó bị oily bad là không có, không có ở Phải dùng cái Jealous mới work in the corner then. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see now? It looks like it's out of... You need some cuticle oil, huh? Cuticle oil? Mm -hmm. They dry. I normally don't have to put base, but send they they send me. I buy these. They come as a set because I normally do two, two coke of top coke. But now they have a base. They send so many base, so I'm to do one base and one top because I normally do two top because I don't use the base. 
Like I say, now I have so many bases they send me. If you got in person, this powder is have a little slightly like uh, stardust in the nude powder. It's really pretty. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, switch it up. Okay, switch it out. Oh, you hit your thumb. See it? You mess it up good too. Make sure your thumb all the way in. Make it rough look. Take your hand out. Okay, be careful with the thumb. All the way in. All right, turn over like this so I can put oil. Okay, massage around your cuticle. See, I don't, when I do my customer, I don't cut the cuticle because the cuticle really, you know, help them protect them to, you know, from getting bacteria. I only cut it if they have like, turn over like this, a lot of hangnail. Because the more you cut the cuticle, the worse it get, and that's gonna make the customer come back more often. Rub it, that's it. You go wash. Let me, let me show them real quick. So I put the cuticle back and just condition it with them, with the um, cuticle oil. That's good. That's it, guys. Go ahead and wash them, baby. Uh, 